What's going on? What are they talking about now? Oh, it's just your fan club. They have a drinking game. Every time you say say something, you always say like, "It is what it is." Boom. Oh. Kids ask your parents. They drink. Oh, okay. <laughs> I tell you what, you're gonna get um, you're gonna get pretty pretty hammered tonight. You're gonna be oh. absolutely shit faced. Kids, ask your parents. You know, seriously, somebody actually left me a comment on one of my videos, like really serious. It was like really serious time saying, um, Sky, you really, you really shouldn't ask you. I think it was when I was talking about three ways and four ways. And they were like, you really shouldn't, um, you really shouldn't tell children to ask their parents about these things. So it was like, 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 how could you take that seriously? Kids are not as dumb as you think. Kids are smart. How's it? Should we check how appalling our traffic is? Okay, so there's a lot of traffic feeding down into here. So what I think uh, now you now here you go. Look, right, you got the traffic feeding off here, and there's quite a lot of traffic, and it's all one lane because this is an off ramp, right? And some of it's going left, some of it's going right, some of it's going straight on. So, what we'll do, pause the game, we'll take this section out, then we'll put in a, where is it, where is it, we're going to put in uh, a one-way, six-lane one-way, with trees, with trees, no, we're on that side, don't need trees, right, so, we'll put um, a section like that on there right then now it's, it, it could do with being a little bit longer to be honest but you'll 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 see you'll see what I'm what I'm getting at here a lot of you will have seen the vids so you'll know this tip already but then we hook that up right and then we crank this up and hopefully yeah ha, ha, look and now when they come in here they get into the lanes that they want to use and everything runs a hell of a lot more freely. How cool is that? Just runs so nicely. Look at that. That is a well working intersection, I think. Just just changing that one little tiny bit of road and suddenly everything just flows so beautifully because you can see by the arrows you know there's the, the the cars are using all six lanes so instead of having like just one lane that people can use they've got six lanes to use isn't that cool yeah you could use three lane highway but in in this particular instance because we've got four way roads uh, four lane roads right they can use two lanes in each of these three so you can actually use a six lane here uh, yeah and and a six uh, a six lane gets um, preference at these so the, the lights are green for longer so you'll shift a, a higher volume of traffic and look that's that's working pretty beautifully now and if we um, if we bring up our traffic view I think we'll see that whilst this is um, this is red, which indicates heavy traffic, right? This little section here is um, is pretty orange because of the sheer volume that it can handle compared to a single lane road. So there you go. By the way, I think uh, Sabhar had, had been asking asking this question a lot, but he he wants me to ask you if you could try out his intersection. On the stream workshop. You know what, Safford? Um, you've already sent me your intersection, haven't you? Or did you did you tell me about it, or did you send it to me? Let me know. Power's out. Where's the power out? Have we got not not got enough power. Let's see. Let's see. No, we've got enough power. Have I just not hooked it up somewhere? No, 
if, what, what are you talking about? We've got power. You don't like the left-hand traffic? Yeah, well, that's the cool thing with this game. You can have it either way. If you want right-hand traffic, you can have right-hand traffic. If you want left-hand traffic, you can have left-hand traffic. What are these guys complaining about? Operating normally, not complaining about apparently anything. So why have you got a little icon flashing if you're not complaining about anything? Let's get rid of this um, info view. Oh, that's not the building. That's the one next to it. You're the one. You're the one complaining. Not enough customers. Well, that's kind of probably not surprising because we uh, we need to zone in. I think some uh, some high density residential, and we need to get rid of this zone over here because it's stealing all the customers. And now this is going to give us a massive inflow of traffic to this area, and we don't have all the ramps set up. So when I do this, things are going to get real. So let's um, yeah, let's use the the marquee tool. D zone. We'll D zone this. Boom. Right. Now everybody's going to have to go over here to do their shopping. So this is going to increase commercial demand. We should get this zoned in. Have I done the water for this area? Yeah, I did. So we can we can zone this in now. Should we start zoning in some high density? Start giving ourselves some traffic problems? Oh, that's probably a good idea. So you know what? Let's let's D zone this area and another little tip which I'm sure like you guys know but when you use the marquee tool if you start somewhere that's like hang on because it it, it, really, it it orients to the to the way you've got the map oriented so if I if I do it from off the grid right yeah you'll you'll get it like that you'll get a square like that but if you start on the grid it'll align to the grid right I'm sure I'm sure like 99% of you know that but there you go. Right, so um so our commercial is going to start to grow. We're going to zone this in as uh, high density residential. Let's get some let's get some people going in here. Uh let's zone let's zone the whole thing in. Yeah. There we go. And you know what? We'll do this as high density as well. There we go. These people aren't going to like this down here because they're right by the highway, which is going to be blooming noisy. You know, you know, Sky. There's four four hundred and twenty in here right now. Four hundred. It's incredible, isn't it? Four hundred idiots all in the same place. Unbelievable. And you, do you know why I call you idiots? Because you're watching me instead of playing Skylines. You're crazy. What the hell do you want to see some Momo like me play this for when you could be playing it yourself? Oh, I've just had my first drink in two hours. Oh, oh, I was losing the will to live. Can't live without tea. You sound British. It's the law. We have to drink tea at least once an hour. Or um, we get fined. It's the way it works. Mm -hmm. You're idiots. I'm a freaking bonehead. So don't complain. Right, oh, we're getting some of these now. Now, um, I w we were talking earlier about putting parks in, weren't we? Should we put some parks in? Should we start levelling up some stuff? Yeah, go on, let's do that. Let's do that. Now, hang on a second. We've, we can put in all kinds of stuff. Because um, we've got, like, unique buildings and things. There's a unique... What the hell is this? Oh, 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 guys. I don't know whether you've seen this. This is a mod that I installed. This has been out, like... I think this came out, like... Maybe even before the game was released, this was available. This is the Annunciation Cathedral, which I think is pretty sweet and gives you an idea of the kind of mods that are going to be available in the future. And we're going to pop this in right in the middle here. And look, just take a look at this, right? That is pretty sweet. Like... However, you, by like whatever your standards are, that's pretty sweet. And every or like all the buildings in the game are moddable, so it's only a matter of time before we've got 
like incredible stuff in here. I, you know, I'm expecting Lord of the Rings mods for sure. Somebody has a question about traffic. Yeah, what was the question about traffic? <laughs> uh, Menchik. Does zoning on the four-lane roads increase intersections, uh, like in SimCity? Um, n yes, it does matter in terms of traffic, but for different reasons. Uh, let me see if I can give you a for instance. If um, if we take a look at a street down here, maybe. What I'm looking for is um, is some service vehicles doing their thing. You know what we haven't put in? We haven't put in any crematoriums. But I don't think we... Oh, yeah, we're starting to get people dying. i better put some crematoriums in. Because um, otherwise we're going to have trouble. So, what should we have? Um, some smoking hot bodies? Some crispy cremes? Some all-you-can-eat barbecue? All-you-can-eat granny's barbecue. <laughs> you guys are... You guys are so bad. You're as bad as I am. Let's bang in like four cremes. And then we'll maybe pop one in the middle. That should give us that should give us fairly good coverage. We need coverage down here as well though, so let's pop in one down here. One and you know what? Let's put one in there. Just so that it's got power. Cool, excellent. Still a few buildings that aren't happy, but I might put one more in. Where? There. And you know what? We should probably provide some through access. I think that might be a good a good plan. Let's provide some through access. There we go. And probably on this side as well. There we go. That'll probably make that a very, very busy intersection, but we'll see. We'll see. Should we, should we check out our traffic? Now, our traffic is all coming down here to get into the commercial area. And then they're all taking this route back to get back into here. So the first thing we can do to solve this is we can take this section out here and this section out there. Pause the game. Let's throw in another one of our beautiful six lanes, like there, and then we'll hook up a, a nice highway off-ramp to that, and bum. And then we'll crank that up, and we'll see how that works. Again, this is very, very short. I should have made this longer, but we'll see. We'll see. Now, hopefully, our cars are going to stop disappearing in a second. Oh, I, I've put it in the wrong way, haven't I? What a bonehead! See? You know what? Let's take that back. Let's put in a slightly longer section. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try that again. So. Now, I, I bet that I won't get that ramp down now. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, near it. Knew it. Take that back. Try this again. Let's take it just to the other side. There we go. There we go. And now our traffic is not going to back up anymore. And it's going to flow fine. Lovely. You know, I, I do like this idea. I need to come up with kind of like a template. You know what? I might, I might get to work in the asset editor and design a version of this with all of the, the off-ramps and on-ramps that I need. So you can just plop down sections of it. How cool would that be? Maybe do it elevated. What do you think? Um, yeah, I, I need more off ramps down here. Yeah, I absolutely do. So you know what? Let's um, let's do it then. So um, now the the people from here can't get over to here very easily. So we kind of need to let them do that. So 
let's see. If they're getting onto here, and then see they're all trying to get off here, but if we give them an off ramp, um, like, you know what? Let's put the let's put the let's do the same thing. We'll do the six lane. So we'll put in. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it at an angle. That makes sense, doesn't it? Because then we get a longer one in. There we go. And then we put the highway off ramp, like that. There we go. And hopefully we should start to see quite a lot of people using this instead of using this up here. Although they do seem to be going to the to work in here. But any commercial... Ah, uh, here we go. Commercial traffic should start to, uh, to use this to go shopping. There we go. Man, these, these cities are so... The, the, the traffic, it, it's just... It comes to life. You know? All this stuff. You know what? This off-ramp, right? Because the traffic's coming round here, and then you see how much traffic is coming round here and then going into here. Although it is dealing with it. I was going to say, we should actually um, change this one. So that, like, what's the point of coming onto here to come off? which is what like 90% of the traffic is doing. It's going over here and then coming straight back on here. It would make a lot more sense to uh, to just hook this straight up to here. Because th there's plenty of other off-ramps that the, the traffic can use. So, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Let's pause this. We're going we're gonna to redo this bit. So... We're going to put in a longer. Oh, by the way, here. X X um, Gente is asking if there is a flatten flatter uh, flattening tool. A flattening tool mm -hmm. um, there is in the terrain editor, so you can do it in the terrain editor, like when you're creating a map, but you can't do it once you're in game. So so there you go. And uh, it is what it is. <laughs> There you go, take another shot. Right, so hook that up to there, and then where's our highway ramp? Bring that down to there. There we go. Right, see how this works. Because now, oh, it's a breeze. No worries. Um, then, then start. Um, ask. Um, what CPU you use? The uh, my PC specs are in every video description, and I've got I've got just like a, a fairly basic i5 processor. It's nothing nothing clever, nothing fancy. Um, and it to be honest, most games. It's about your GPU rather than your CPU, and I've got uh, I've got a GTX 670 Twin Frozer uh, MSI GPU. So there you go. Yep, this is working. That's working kind of nicely. This uh, back here is getting a little bit backed up because they've got no they've got no way of getting back onto the highway. This is all starting to get a bit sticky up here. See, because they're getting onto here, and they've got no way to get over here other than to go round here and then onto here. Okay, and it's causing all kinds of backing up and stuff. So we need to provide uh, an easy way for these guys to get over here. So should we give them a nice, um, a nice off ramp to allow them to get over here? I think we should. Uh, but the best way to do it would be to provide something over here. So we'll put in we'll put in some off on and off ramps over here, and then they can get into the city that way. So what we'll do, I think, is uh, yeah, you know what we'll do. You know what we'll do. We'll get rid of this road here because we want 
once the traffic comes into here we need it to filter out uh, so we're going to put in a four lane uh, with trees here there we go right so so now <coughs> we've got a potential six lanes that people can can get into if if they're coming in from this side up to this intersection there are two lanes turning right two lanes going straight on two lanes going that way so we want to put in one of our nice six lanes six lane one way uh, so I Corbin says sky yeah uh, my train on the outgoing line are backing up to the border if uh, if I think this is off the map, is is it a bug? There, th okay. There is some kind of problem with too many trains. Now they've already put in a patch, which was done before the game re was released. The game was released on version 1.0.5, and that included a a fix which was supposed to reduce the number of trains. But there's still, seem, I, I'm certainly seeing like a lot of trains on my tracks. So my advice is to put multiple tracks in. Uh, potentially separate your your um, your passenger tracks from your cargo tracks, uh, as like as much as you can. But certainly, I would I would have two, three, or even four tracks when uh, like when you're connecting up to your main lines basically you want lots of track for your trains and uh, and and try to keep your tracks like circular don't have spurs that's pretty much a nightmare and when you've got intersect like when you put in stations um, so let me show you let me show you so if you put in a station like that so let me get some track I do these pop-ups I'm gonna switch these damn pop-ups up they're a pain um, so let's say you've got your track like this and you'll know I mean you you've been watching the video so you'll know this when you've got track like this with a station put another piece of track like along there it's, come on behave like this so that um, so that the trains if they don't need that station can just bypass it right because otherwise if you've got a train sitting in there right other trains coming up behind have got to wait and what you want to do is eliminate waiting times so putting in these these kind of bypasses um, separating your tracks to um, pedestrian and cargo at least certainly when you come in when you come off the main line I would suggest having multiple tracks that's uh, so that, there you go that's my advice that's my train advice all right let's get rid of this all that horrible noise pollution we still got enough power I can't believe we got enough power for like, ah there you go see look city needs more power and we need more water pretty sure of that let's pop another one of these in up here there we go that should double our power there we go and water pretty sure we're going to need more water yeah what a surprise let's bang another couple of pumps in up here uh, sky can you slow down the simulation yeah sure what do you want it what do you want it slowed down to let's um what about two, what about double speed rather than triple speed is that better Sky, you need lots of industry. Look at the key. You've got too many people. Yeah, we need to, we need to put in some some industry. But of course, industry is both industry and offices. And of course, offices uh, don't produce a lot of noise pollution. So you can have your offices very close to your residence. Um, we've got a lot of buildings in the residential area going abandoned now. This is a really good point. Um, a lot of you will know about the, the mod, the Auto Bulldoze mod. Um, 
which automatically demolishes any abandoned buildings. The only problem with that mod is that then you can't actually look at your abandoned buildings and figure out why they're going ab abandoned. Right? Now these are going abandoned because trash is piling up. So we definitely need to do something about the trash. So how about up this top corner, seeing as we've got uh, so we've got our water there, so that wouldn't be a good idea. Where can we put some... How about down here? Yeah, because we've got... Yeah, that makes sense. We've got the this chucking out the, the garbage water. So, you know what? Let's hook this up uh, with a two-way road. Yeah, two-way two -way road down here. And we'll, we'll put in some incinerators down here. And that, hopefully, should give us the coverage that we need. So... We'll probably put in like four down here. There we go. Need to give them some water. Let's run this down there. Boom. There you go. There's a boom. Take a drink. Right. Now, they produce power themselves, but we still need to hook them up to the grid. So we'll hook this up down there. There we go. Right. And that should solve our garbage problems. Let's have a look. How's our coverage now? Oh, oh, we're starting to go blue. We're starting to go blue. As the garbage trucks go out and start picking up the garbage, these will, these will start to turn blue. Pilot, yep. Pilot is asking what policies do you have? What policies? I haven't, uh, I haven't changed any policies so far. Oh, look, this one's burned down. This building is on fire. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Probably need some uh, some fire coverage. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea, would it, be guys? Um, let's put some more incinerators in. Let's have another one there and another one there. There we go. So now we've got eight incinerators, which I would think should be plenty. Yeah, lovely. Much better. And notice that I don't have any landfills. You don't need landfills. Because these guys have these garbage reserves, which are the same size as a landfill in actual fact. But you just need to make sure that they've got room so that the trucks can deliver it. And look, garbage trucks. These have got 27 garbage trucks. So, yeah, you don't need landfills. You can use landfills if you want, but you don't need landfills. I think they need to add, like, a reason to have... Um, landfills I mean I, I think like I'm not sure like what what reason you could create for them but I think there should definitely be a reason for them 